a little better this week. Yeah. That's good. We're up to four that are happy to be here. We're going to start off with announcements. And while I'm trying to remember that, where's Teresa? She's not here. Well, Teresa has an announcement. Can we get her on the phone? Oh, Trista. I thought you said Teresa. Give it up. Big announcement. Give it okay. Up. Give it up. <laughs> Wrong again. Are you married? Let's don't go there. Today. Uh, no, uh, I'm bringing my very... Um, handy crew with me because I you know I how much I love to get up here and talk um, so in your bulletin today you will all find a lovely piece of yellow paper and this is a letter from Pastor Nancy reminding you that we've been talking and talking and talking and talking for months now about sabbatical coming mm. soon well guess what guys it's here uh, so starting uh, very soon, after next Sunday, Pastor will be on sabbatical May 2nd, um, and she will be out on sabbatical for, she'll be gone for seven Sundays, so all of May and three weeks in June. Um, and you know, as a church board, we've been talking about this and praying about this for a long time, and um, we all were like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's going to be fine. We can, we're fine, right? And then now we're like, oh, pastor's going to be gone. We got to do some stuff. Um, stuff. So, stuff. Right. Just a little stuff. Yeah. There's only a, a few things that pastor handles. I don't know if you guys know that Nancy likes to make sure that we're all in line. I don't know if anyone here recognizes that and maybe thinks that... We have some big shoes to fill to keep us all organized and managed. That's what I have to say about it. So I encourage you, number one, to take the time to read this letter from Pastor Nancy to talk about what her goals are during sabbatical. Um, on the back of that piece of paper, there's an actual explanation about what sabbatical means, in case you have been listening to us talk about this going... I have no idea what they're talking about because um, that's typically what happens when I'm talking and people are listening, usually children. What? Um, huh? what? So a sabbatical affords a pastor the opportunity to step away from the day-to-day -day responsibilities for an intentional season of rest in order to strengthen their spiritual life and be renewed for future service. Pastoral ministry does not follow the normal work week, nor does it involve typical workplace concerns. Over time, the rhythms and relational pressures of congressional life can wear down a pastor's spiritual vitality. What that means is she's on 24-7 and we're all bothering her 24-7 in a good way. I mean that in a nice way. But like, you know, she doesn't get days off from us in case you guys didn't notice. So we want to make sure that she is not worn down by her pastoral duties. Um, a pastor benefits from disentangling their spiritual life from the weekly rounds of sermons, administrative duties, appointments, meetings, and visiting in order to engage with God in a focused way. Congregations benefit by a returning pastor who is spiritually revived and renewed. And we all, of course, certainly want that for Pastor Nancy. While she is gone, you will want to keep this yellow sheet handy because this leadership tasks and information lists who you can contact and all of our phone numbers for any emergency situation that may arise or non-emergency situation that may arise while she's gone. So um, this lists who's in charge of what and who you can call if you have any questions. Um, as always, you're welcome to call any of your board members at any time if you have any questions or concerns that you want to talk to them about. I'm going to hand it over to Jeff, who's going to tell you about the amazing Reverend Deanna Hayden, who is going to be our pastor, Phil. And there is also a handout in your bulletin about her that you will want to take a look at. Thank you, Teresa. I, I do want to say that, that it's a misunderstanding if you feel like it's time off. It's hard work. It's just intentional, spiritual renewal focus, and uh, pastor will be sweating the whole time, working hard. Uh, now, I went to school with Deanna and her husband, um, Ben, and Naked. I had a couple of preaching classes with her, and I thought, 
she is going to be one of the leaders of the church and in, in, in the preaching field at least and I was right she's teaching in Mid-America now she taught just in a class she's where's her doctorate at Cambridge or she's in the middle of it uh, 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 Harvard yeah uh, some, some fancy place that I don't even Yale I've not been invited Yale yet or Harvard one of the I've not been invited yet I'll say that <laughs> But she's a great preacher. She's a very caring and loving uh, person. She's been a great pastor. Uh, ben, I also went to school with Ben. I thought, well, this is a guy who's going to be able to relate with anybody, which meant he wasn't as good as preacher as Deanna, but he was a better <laughs> preacher than me. I'll say that. But Ben's a great guy, too. And Ben is actually going to take a couple of weeks for Deanna when she's going to be out of town. Um, they've got a, a really nice family they're going to be a delight for us to experience and, and spend time with. Both of them are going to just get along with us just fine. Good morning! Uh, they want me to tell you what the cost is going to be. Basically, a uh, what? Oh, that's a good question. So we really want to take them out for lunches. Uh, take care of them. Yeah, so I, I've got a list. If you would like to host them, come see me. And I know we've already got a couple of weeks filled with the NYI and the SDMI. Uh, but uh, if you're interested in hosting them, let, I, they don't have any allergies. Uh, there are a few things you would want to be aware of before you start planning things. Any other questions for either of these? They've asked me to tell you or inform you about the cost. Pastor's going to continue to be paid as she normally is when, yes. Oh, I thought someone had a, a comment. I stuck this in. Okay. Uh, her regular wages while she's on sabbatical. This is normal. This is standard. Before I go too far into that, the church board has always encouraged our pastors to take time off, to go for revivals, uh, personal revivals, personal retreats. And pastors tried to do that. However, being Pastor Nancy, she is a little more involved with all the workings of the church and she doesn't always get time off. Though she does her best to seek time for personal renewal uh, throughout the year, uh, the sabbatical is a step further. It kind of us forcing her to do it. The fill-in is going to be paid $150 a week plus mileage, which works out to about $205 a week. But. Uh, this is normal that we'd give someone who fills in for pastor if she was on vacation or whatever. So it's not a big expense. However, if you want to contribute to the sabbatical costs, you can give to additional monies directed towards offsetting these additional expenses. Pastor does have a fund that we've given to that we will give to her to help her in her time off. And uh, any other things? Anything else? Anybody Thank any questions about sabbatical? Nobody else is panicking. Pastor Nancy's is gone for two months. Huh? So when, <laughs> when, when Moses came down from the mountain, his face was so full of the glory that his face shone and he had to wear a veil. All the Israelites had to do was not build a golden calf. Okay, we've, we've got it pretty easy. <laughs> with a cat and nine tails. So when Moses came down, that's when that mask deal all started, right? That's what I thought. Yeah, if you don't think that Pastor Nancy works hard, you ought to see her pastor's report at the board meetings that she submits. Wears me out just reading it. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that she does in a month's time. Okay, one more announcement. During morning worship, there will be a children's fun day. Oh, May 1st, I'm sorry. May 1st, during the uh, morning worship, there will be a children's fun day Sunday. Please bring your kids, grandkids, and any other children you know for a great time. So would you all please stand for our call to worship? 
In John 15, 13 through 14, the Lord said, Greater love hath no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Amen. Ready? One, two, oh, I'm a mix.
Amen.